Hi, I'm Vince and we're here in beautiful January Bryan, Texas weather and I'm going to show you how to set up the VMAX drill, which is also known as the Wicket drill. It's the easiest thing in the world. It's designed for simplicity and aggression. Uh, remember, there is a inverse relationship between complexity and aggression and we want this drill to be really, really um, aggressive. So obviously we're not going to make it very, very complicated. I'm going to show you how to set it up today. I use uh, slats because obviously the VMAX drill, the first thing we need to advise you on is this drill is not about stepping over anything. Sprinting is not about stepping over anything. It's about stepping down from above. So we want to step down between things, not make it an obstacle course. So this drill is not designed as a as a coordination drill. It's not designed as an obstacle course. It's a maximal sprint setup. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do it the old fashioned way first, assuming you don't have a tape. Um, notice on this lane, which we already have set up, on the lane that we already have set up, we're stretched a tape all the way out. And uh, because on the, on the chart, I have the individual measurements a pair of those, a pair of those, a pair of those, and then going by threes after the first three pairs. But I also have the accumulated numbers. So if you're looking at the chart, you can do it the way I'm about to do it, which is real simple, uh, or you can use the accumulated numbers and set it up that way. I'll talk more about this lane here in a minute uh, after we set this other one up in real time. So uh, Bernessa Thompson's gonna help us here. And the first thing you gotta do is you start obviously to set this up you have to s start with zero zero is the most important number that you're setting up here so i use lots of that i use athletic tape like it's going out of style that's what we're going to use today you can use paint whatever cones whatever you want so we're going to start zero right there okay and then this this lane is going to be set up at five so we're going to start out at five six so if you'd hold that bernessa and keep hold that i'll take the other end so we're gonna go, let's get on the other side of the line, Vanessa. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go zero, so I go five, six. Okay, another five, six. And all these numbers are on the chart. I'm just showing you how to set it up. Okay, then we got two at five, nine, so we did Two five six. Now we got two at five nine. So this is five foot nine, and another five foot nine. This will be at six feet, six feet, and then we go uh, six threes for three, and then six six for three, and then so forth. So once you have the marks out, it doesn't take very long. I just use the marks that I already put out and I keep the slats in the middle of the lane. So there's two at five, six, five, nine, five, nine, six feet, six feet. Now we go by three, so six, three, now use the marks that I set up. Six three and six three. Now we go to six six. Six six and six six. Now six nine. Six nine. And then you can see the cone there is a run out. So you can look back and kind of see how we have set it up. Okay, now's the most important part. We only set up 14 strides today, okay? So normally I like to do 18, we go as far as 21. But if you're being a good coach and you're coaching with your eyes and you have the right spacing for your group and on the chart 
it's roughly associated with 100 meter times. So that's pretty good. That'll put you in the ballpark. If it's not good, roll down one, roll up one, do whatever you have to do, but find the niche for your group. Um, we have, like I say, two lanes set up today, one for 5.6 for the women, one for 5.11 for the men, but the spacings vary wi wildly by ability level. We go all the way down to 13.7, which I believe starts at 4.7. We go all the way up to 6.3, which is like Usain Bolt. So the chart kind of puts you in the ranges where you work. Okay, so, but now that we have the wickets out, this is what people don't do. We gotta, we gotta put in a run in because if we do have the right spacing, okay, they're not gonna get into wicket 12 through 18 unless they run in from six strides. So you can't eyeball this run in, you can't guess it because if, if you have the spacing right and you have a four step run in or an eyeballed run in, they're not going to get there late in the flight you want this drill to sing, there's no important, there's no reason to do the drill unless it sings. So you really got to hit it. So we're going to figure this out real quick in real time. So, uh, you can hold me there, Vanessa. So if this is five, six, obviously halfway between, this is really important, is two foot nine. So two foot nine, we're going to mark here, two foot nine. We're going to put a mark dead smack dab in the middle of the wickets because that's where you're going to that's the first step after you run in so now this is the thing it's only relative to the spacing that you take so in this instance because this first wicket set is five six the last running step will be five six so once we've found that we're gonna that's zero we're gonna go back five foot six now this lane obviously is five eleven so there's the middle. So because that spacing's 511, the last running step is 511. So the last running step is only relative to how wide the spacing is. So again, this is 56. We found the middle where, where we want them to step. So now we're going to go back. So Vanessa, if you would hold the, the end, that end right there, we're going to go back the other way. So in this in this lane right here. We're going to go five six now we're going to go take off three inches per step coming back five three okay five feet four nine four six Four three and four feet. So if you look, if, so this is obviously you always count that as zero. So if you go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six is the last piece of tape before the wicket. So it's a six step run in and a step over, and that's what it looks like. So let's go over this other lane for just a minute. So again, this one was 5-6. So we did a 5-6 running step working backward. This is a 5-11 space. This is what we got our guys using. So we found the halfway point there. And because this wicket spacing is 5-11, the last running stride is 5-11. And we go back 5-8, 5-5, 5-6, 5-7, 5-8. Four, eight, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how you got to do it. If you're coaching with your eyes and doing it right and you have the right distance, you've got to choreograph a run in. So thanks to my lovely assistants. Thank you to my videographer, Danny. Peace out.